Canucks hosting the Oilers. The Oilers are minus 137 on the money line. The Canucks are plus 114. Over under, six and a half goals. The Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 176, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game, it has to be by two or more. And the Canucks getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 215, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. It's supposed to be Skinner and Silvos. Neither goaltender has been confirmed, and I was happy about game one. Laid down, went to bed. Canucks were up... Uh, the Oilers were up 4-3. to three. Then I go back and look and see that they lost 5-4. to four. Now, head-to-head, the Canucks are on a five-game winning streak. They are 6-4 and four against the Oilers in their last 10. The home team's 5-5. Five and five. The underdog has won the last five games they played against each other. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line, and the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 8-2. and two. There have been four one-goal games in their last 10. The over-under is 4-4-2. Four, four and two. And the over six and a half goals is six and four. And the Oilers have yet to beat the Canucks this season. And they lost with a third string goaltender in net. Now, I put this more on the Oilers defense because I've been saying this all year. That they can't have to continuously win by scoring four plus goals or more. They choked in the third period. We'll see if they bounce back like they did when the Kings whooped their ass in round number one. I think that they will. I'm going to take the Oilers with the money line. I'll take the Oilers laying the goals, and I'll go over. And we'll see if they can figure it out. If not, then this is probably going to be one of those games where you're just going to have to bet the team getting goals or just wait in-game and see how things go. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.